guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hello my name is Casey welcome to the party I hope you'll come and join us by subscribing down below and turn on post notifications and all those good things so today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a chit chat get ready with me kind of makeup look I don't really know what I'm going to be doing yet so let's just get into the video and see so I've already done my skincare I've literally just put some lotion on and lip balm and stuff like that but I usually start with my eyebrows, so let's get into that. So for my eyebrows, I'm going to be using this from Collection. And it's literally just a clear mascara because I don't really do much to my eyebrows. So yeah. So once my eyebrows are on, I next go on to eyeshadow. So I'm going to be using the P. Louise base. I think this is in, yeah, shade 3. So I'm just going to be popping that on my eyelids. So I just pop it this much on and I'm just going to go in and blend it. I use this brush from Freemark, which is literally like a pound. You can use any brush, but I just quite like this because it's just big and easy to blend out with. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. I'm just gonna do the same on this eye quickly. So I connect my base from one eye to the other eye and then just use the excess like in the middle here, just so it's blended well. Any bits I wanna blend out, like the middle or the sides, I just get my beauty blender and literally just like blend them out like this. So there's no harsh like lines. So I actually got some new eyeshadow brushes. These are from MSQ on Amazon. I literally love these brushes. I use them for eyeshadow all the time, so I ordered a few more ones. They look this, they're super cute. So yeah, I'm gonna use these in today's video. For my eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using the Be Perfect and Stacey Marie eyeshadow palette. And this is the Carnival Extra Large Pro. I literally love this palette. Like, look how much I've used it. As you can see, I like a little bit of pink. But anyway, I'm gonna go for a purple look. So I'm gonna just apply this to my lid. Like, are you seeing the pigment of this? Wow. I'm literally just gonna go and apply this across my whole eyelid. Okay, this looks a little bit mad now, but I'm gonna go blend it out. To blend it out, I'm gonna use a mix of Influence, Persuasion, and Makeup. So I just put a little bit of a mix of that on here. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out. Only okay. I don't know if I wanna drag this out or kind of keep it. Like, I don't know how I want this eyeshadow to look. I think I might kind of not drag it out and just kind of keep it where it is. I went in with a slightly fluffier brush, so I'm just literally blending this out. Like, the further out in the eyeshadow I get, the fluffier the brush I use. So I've just went in and done the same on this side. I know it looks very crazy, but trust the process. It's all going to come together at the end. So I'm just taking a new brush and I'm going to go in with makeup, which is the light I should have used so far, and literally just keep blending it out. It looks crazy, but trust me. Once I keep blending it out, it'll look cute. Also, I always hate how my eyeshadow looks until I put eyelashes on, and then I'm like, oh. Can you hear my stomach rumbling? Ew. I'm doing, is it intermittent or intermediate? I don't know, fasting right now. And girl, I'm hungry. So now I'm gonna go on with Temptation on a flat brush and literally just apply it as if I was cutting the crease, but I'm not gonna cut the crease. This is kind of like the easy way to cut your crease. Instead of going through the whole concealer stage, I just skip that and go ahead with my shimmer. If you've got a good enough shimmer, then you can literally just pack it on the same way you do that. And your cut crease will look cute. So I'm just doing the same again on this side, applying the glitter in here. It's kind of hard to talk and do this, but yeah. So once I've done that, I'm just going to use the first blending brush I used and blend out the corner so there's no harsh lines like this. So I just, literally, I didn't add any more product. I'm just going in and blending it out. So once that step's done, I still look mad, but trust me, I'm going to add the eyelashes. It's going to look cute. So I'm going to first go in with my mascara. This is from Lancome. I'm actually not sure which one it is because I got it in a little set for Christmas, but... I don't know, it looks like this. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. I don't apply too much mascara, I've seen as I'm putting my eyelashes on, but I like to put a little bit on because I just think it makes the blend a little bit easier. So now that I've done my mascara, I'm just gonna go off camera quickly and apply my eyelashes. Six and a half hours later. As you can see, I finally have my eyelashes on. I feel like that took me like literally two and a half days. I think I got it from like AliExpress or Amazon or something like that. I can't really remember, but they were just a nightmare to get on. Like I usually can get eyelashes on in like a minute, like so quickly, and these just took me so long for no reason but anyway they're finally on so let's get into the base i'm gonna be using the elf poreless putty i literally love this it's amazing i have really oily skin so i just think it helps to just <laughs> all the oil so i mainly just apply that on my nose because that's where i get the oiliest i like my nose basically it's like my t-zone so i just apply it to my nose a little bit on my forehead but like not much and then just across my cheeks. So now that my primer has had time to set, I'm gonna be going to my foundation. I still haven't found my perfect shade of foundation, so I'm gonna be going with a mix. So first I have Maybelline Dream Urban Cover, and this is the shade 330 Toffee. I really like this, but it's a little bit too late for me. So to help me get my perfect shade, I'm gonna be mixing it with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hours Fresh Wear Foundation. This is in the shade 340, so let's go ahead and apply. So I actually don't like to apply that much foundation because I just, Think it makes me look weird so i'm just gonna apply like that i'm just gonna apply this much to be fair this is probably more than i actually usually apply 
but yeah i don't really apply any of my forehead because i just stick my forehead i just leave on this one i don't know why i just leave on this one so to blend it out i'm literally just using the real technique expert face brush and I'm literally just patting that in oh this shade looks a little bit mad right now i can't lie but i think i'll fix it i'll fix it trust the process just went ahead and added a tiny little bit more of this shade just to even out the color but i'm gonna build fix with concealer i'm just blending that in this still looks a little bit mad but it's fine because as soon as i apply my concealer i will have fixed it i'm just trusting the process as i said so now i'm gonna go on my beauty blender and just blend this out i just think it gets rid of like the oils and the excess i don't need i've not wet this i don't wet my beauty blender when i do this step for some weird reason if i'm using a beauty blender instead of a foundation brush i wet it but if i'm just doing like this I don't use one, I just literally pat off the excess. So we're currently looking like this. Yes, it's a little bit mad, but trust me, I will fix it with the concealer. So much like my foundation, I'm gonna be again mixing two shades for my concealer, these two here. I'm gonna start off with a Maybelline Instant Age Eraser. This is in the shade Caramel Christmas. I think this is like a special edition one. And then I'm gonna be using the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite, and this is in the shade 12.5. I'm just gonna start off with a Maybelline one, as I said, and apply it basically here just to like lighten up my face. So I'm just gonna apply it the same on this side. I'm just gonna apply a little bit here, a little bit above here, and then just a little bit of my nose. Also a little bit here on my forehead. Then I'm gonna go on my Revolution Concealer and just apply that again on the top, just kind of in this little space here. And yeah, and again, a little bit of my nose, and a little bit above my lip. Looking crazy. So while this is dry, I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose. I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Foundation Stick. This is in the shade F15. And I'm also going to be using this little pre-mark brush just to help me blend it all out. So I literally just apply a little bit like this to it. And then just go ahead and shape out my nose. I can never get this straight. Like, it always looks crooked. But it's fine. Because I can fix it. Ooh! And I add a little bit here as well. Just for that little definition because I put the concealer there I need to bring back my lips and then with the excess that's on this brush I literally just put it here where I'm going to contour later just so there's no excess in the brush for no reason and I'm going to use the other side of this brush and just blend it out put quite a lot on so it actually looks a little bit mad while I'm blending it out but it will be fine and then once I blend this out I go out over it with my brush anyway so to blend the rest of my nose contour, I'm going to choose the back of my beauty blender and literally just go down the middle and blend it that way. There you go, blended, and I'm going to use the other side and just continue blending over here out my concealer. I'm just going to wet my beauty blender quickly using I Heart Revolution Fix the Spray. This is in the shade Vanilla and Coconut and it smells amazing, so I'm just going to spray a little bit onto that. Oh my god, it smells so good. So I'm going to go ahead and blend out my concealer. Also, I actually swapped beauty blenders for this bit, so my other one is still dry. So I can use it to get the excess. So we blended it like that so far. Crazy, but I look more like myself, like my actual color. So as I said, I swapped beauty blender. So I've just swapped back to my dry one and I'm just blending that out, pushing it in here. It's already blended out. So yeah, I'm basically just like pushing it into my skin now. They go ahead and do the same on this side, pushing it in. And there you go. I like to like drag it up to around here just so it all blends in properly. The same foundation stick, I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and contour. I'm just gonna apply it here, here, a little bit here, but not much. And then I don't apply any of my forehead because I leave that for my powdered contour. So to finish blending this, I'm just gonna go in with this brush from Lorac and blend out quickly. It looks a bit mad, but I need to do this bit quickly so I can set my face. So it's currently looking like this, a little bit crazy still. I think I might add a tiny little bit more concealer just to brighten up my face a little bit more. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Elf Hydrate in Camo Concealer. This is in the shade Tan Sand. I'm just gonna apply a tiny little bit just on the inside here. I'm literally just going ahead and blending that out a little bit, like just that tiny bit I put in the corner. Okay, that makes so much of a difference. So now that that's all blended out, I'm gonna go ahead and set it with this powder from Revolution. This is my translucent powder, I'm using my Lamora brush to blend it out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit and I'm literally just gonna put it in here. I don't really like apply this everywhere, I just apply it where I've had my concealer. So mainly just under my eyes, I'm trying to just, yeah, make a little line there. Same on this side, um, a little bit on my forehead as well. So I look very crazy here, oh I'm gonna put a bit here because I'm a bit oily on my chin too. Oily problems, I hate it. I'm literally gonna leave it for a few minutes, maybe like two minutes because I don't like to leave it too long because I just think it dries out your face like i know i got oily skin but i don't like my skin to be dried out for no reason so while that's set i'm just gonna go ahead and bronze and contour quickly i'm gonna be using this bronze and contour kit from revolution i'm gonna be using the shade here this is shade four i'm gonna start with the one for the palette and literally just 
apply it wherever my brows used to go. I've never actually used this one before, so this is kind of a little... All my days, my hair's got my face. First impressions of this as well. So to blend this all together, I'm going to be using the MUA Pro Base Full Matte Pressed Powder. That's a long ass name. But yeah, I love this. It's so cute. And this is in the shade 170. I've got this little brush. It's broken because I can't go out and get anyone because we're in the middle of the pandemic. And this is my favorite brush. But yeah, I'm just going to apply some and blend all this together. Mainly just applying it like where I've got the setting powder so I can blend it into basically just blend that in. So I'm literally just pressing it in quickly. Like I'm not blending much, I'm just pressing it in. So it still looks a little bit mad, but I'm gonna bring it all together in a minute. Don't you worry about that. I'm also gonna go in and contour my nose quickly with powder using the same bronzer that I used on my face. I don't do too much to this, but I'm just gonna pop a little bit on. It looks a little bit cute. Yeah, it makes it stand out. There you go, my nose is looking snatched. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my lower lash line. I'm literally using the first eyeshadow brush I used with the purple on it and just, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. This is the thing that when people are like first getting into eyeshadow that they miss, like doing the bottom line just brings it all together. It finalizes the whole look. Then I'm gonna go in with the biggest blending brush that I used and I'm gonna use the lightest shade that I've put on it and just blend that out. So it's not too harsh at the bottom. Keeping it cute. I don't want to look like a panda. So I've just went ahead and added the tiniest little bit of mascara to my bottom lashes just to give it that little, that little pop. But now I'm going to go ahead and finish the base off. I'm going to be using the Morphe Continuous Set in Mist. I literally love this. It's weird because it sounds like there's nothing in the bottle, but it's like literally full. So I'm going to just shake it up a little bit, even though nothing's happening, and spray it on my face. Mm. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, this is the one. So this is actually probably one of my favorite steps because I just think it brings the whole look together, but I'm gonna go ahead and add my blush. This is broken because I literally dropped it as soon as I bought it, but it's from MUA, MUA Blusher in this shade. This is in the shade Atomic Tangerine, which is weird because, Tangerine? This is literally so pigmented, so I add the tiniest little bit on. I'm gonna be using this Morphe brush. I don't have a clue what it's called, but yeah. So I'm just gonna smile and then add a little bit of blush. So. So I'm going to add a little bit here. I never used to add blush because I just used to think it looked weird, but like it's literally changed the game. And I also add my nose because if you don't add blush to your nose, then what are you doing? Why even add a blush? Once I've done that, I'm going to go back in with a beauty blend and literally just blend it together. Every single step, you blend. So now I've done that, I'm going to go back in again with my setting spray quickly, spray my face so I can apply my highlighter. So just a little quick... Mm. So for my highlighter, I'm using my little Morphe brush and I'm going in with the shade Gold Lux from my Carnival palette. So I'm just going to add a little bit here. Again, the same on this side. Obviously some of my nose. And then finally, above my lip, I'm going to add a little bit more here because I can't really see it great. Finally, I need to fix these disgusting lips. And I'm going to take all that off because why do they look disgusting? So I'm going to start off by outlining my lips. I'm going to be using my MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. Looks very ghetto because I've had it for ages because I literally love it. But I just started the top. I'm just gonna fix the top because as you can see here, it looks a little bit weird. So once I've outlined my lips, they should look kind of like this. I just like to blend it up a little bit so it's not just a literal line because I hate that. I just think it looks straight. Then I'm usually very much of a lip gloss only kind of gal, but today I'm gonna go in with this MAC lipstick. This is the shade Whirl. I don't wear it that much, but I do. I think it's quite cute. So I'm gonna just apply it in the middle here and blend out. There you go. Like so. Yeah. Cute. Then my lip just wouldn't be complete if I didn't put lipstick. So I'm gonna go in with the Pout Balm lip gloss. This is a plumping lip gloss from Revolution. It's clear, but it's like got a weird color because I always wear brown. So yeah. I'm just gonna apply that in the center. Like look, it just oh, it just ups the whole game. Like you see that. And here we have it. This is a finished look. I, yeah, I really like it. It looks cute. What do you guys think? Please let me know. Oh, okay. I see you. Everything came together as I knew it would. I'm really liking the lip combo. It just looks super cute and like glossy. The eyeshadow was just cute because it's like a little, not too much. It was easy enough to do. And yes, the face pulled through the colors came together thank god because it was looking a little bit a little bit scary at one point but here we are so 
yes i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn on post notifications and all of those good things i will see you guys later bye